everybody. Welcome to the inaugural episode of Retro Roadmap with your hostess, Maud Betty. It's me. We are in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware today, the nation's summer capital. And while we're going to be doing some fun things like a bike ride and maybe eating lunch and doing some shopping, it's all so much more different and fun when it's Retro Roadmap. So come along with us and have some fun. Oh, look, it's Maud Betty. Hi, sweetie. Are you ready for a retro road ride? I think we are. So, Tim, when you told me we were going on a bike ride, I had no idea you had so many awesome vintage bikes for me to choose from. Kind of overwhelmed with the selection. Why don't you tell me about your collection? Well, I have uh, nine bikes overall, seven Schwinns, and two Murray manufacturing bicycles. The Murrays are this one here, a Hiawatha, which was sold by Gimbel's Department Store. Uh, this is a 1960 men's Hiawatha. This bike here is a 1959 J.C. Higgins, which was sold by the Sears Company, but also made by Murray. Murray did a lot of customizing for a number of uh, retailers. A lot of the Murray bicycles were over-decorated, and just some of the accessories on them were just crazy cool because they had to compete with the Schwinns, which of course were at the top of the heap. And it looks like you've got a little Schwinn family over here. I do. These Mama, are... Papa and baby. Kind of. Um, these the, were the first bikes that Schwinn made that were all made in the United States. All American made. Up to that point, Schwinn had uh, boasted of German, French, British engineering, Japanese engineering, and uh, uh, the uh, political climate was, at the time, changing. and. Um, Americans wanted a totally American-made bike, and the uh, deluxe American was it. Uh -huh. Right, and what about this family over here? These are all the bad boy bikes. These are the tanker bikes um, that, uh, you know, just every kid wanted at the time. This is the one bike here that is uh, that stands out from the three because this is a modern Schwinn. This particular bike was made in 1995. So it in itself, it's, it's 18 years old, but Schwinn reintroduced the Springer Fork Beach Cruiser. That's what this big uh, beehive thing is at the front. Um, it rides like a Cadillac. These are vintage. This is a fully restored 1960 Mark IV Jaguar. Reminds me of Pee Wee Herman. Uh, this is a 1951 partially restored Deluxe Hornet. And the uh, bike in the back there, which I think I'm going to ride today, is an all-original condition Schwinn Deluxe Hornet from 1959. That is awesome. Um, right down to the back rack, that is how it was pictured in the catalog in 1959. So I get my choice, right? Yes, you do. Excellent. Hmm. While you're all so beautiful, and I know you have all your great individual qualities, I'm kind of thinking that the one down here in the front Matches my outfit the best. I, so, I didn't know, want to girl. point that out myself, but you're absolutely right. And the winner. Are you ready, Betty? Betty's ready.
We've biked our way to the boardwalk here in Rehoboth Beach. It is a beautiful beach day, and we're at one of my favorite places at the boardwalk, which is Louis Pizza. Since 1974, my favorite pizza in all of the beach, and there's some really neat artwork inside that I want to show you. So um, why don't we go inside, we'll get a slice, and I'll show you what Mod Betty thinks is so cool about Louis. here at Louie's Pizza. I know you love Louie's. I love Louie's. I love their pizza. My dad and I used to think it was the best ever. Oh my god, I totally, totally sound like a valley girl. Anyhow, so what do you like to eat? The pizza is the best at the beach. They make a very good grinder, which I've ordered today. Mm -hmm. um, their cheese fries are outstanding. They still use peanut oil to, you know, fry their fries, and um, you just can't beat this small town family atmosphere. Totally hit the spot. All right, we good. Off to our next stop. All right, we're at another Mod Betty fave. We're at Kidget's Gadgets. It's a retro emporium. We're going to go in and see some vintage retro inspired kitsch. Come along with. So Kitchens is great because it's got a lot of cool new stuff that's kind of kitschy and vintage, but also what I love to do is I love to find the actual vintage stuff around the place. So um, we've got some comic books, we've got yo-yos, we've got, you know, all sorts of figures. We've got this awesome back glass from a vintage pinball machine. Oh my god, my sister, my sister Pam had this. Check it out. The Happy Apple, I believe he's called. Can we get a close-up of the, <laughs> the Fisher Price A-frame? And again, my sister Pam would love this because like, we coveted all the Fisher Price toys that our neighbors had. So Pam, if you're out there, and I know you are, um, yeah, he has two A-frames. Two Fisher Price A-frames. Totally in love. I so want to live in the A-frame. <laughs> So yeah, I love this because Mod Betty is a big fan of vintage records. I just love the fact that vintage vinyl has um, is experiencing a resurgence, not only to listen to it, but also if you want to make some crafts and things. I've made a few of these in my day. They make awesome chip holders. Um, I also got this back in the day. Billy Idol, I just gotta say. Came with a poster. Yeah, totally hanging on my wall. So yeah, so we've got all sorts of vintage vinyl. And I think I just may need to go home too with this princess desk phone. Because isn't this totally mod, Betty? Mr. DeMille, I'll be right there. Bye. Look at this. The Elvis and Clash cabinet. That's kind of awesome, don't you think? And you could probably get one, create one yourself and get it stylized to whomever you prefer. But notice the original and then the homage. This is when the uh, art history major in Mod Betty comes out when you see the, um, you could, I could probably write a paper on that. Yeah, so who, who would know in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, you're down here for cotton candy, you're down here for ski ball and boardwalking, and then you can find an awesome place like this with all sorts of um, cool records and things like that. Oh my God, we had such an awesome day here in Rehoboth Beach. Tim, thank you so much for the vintage rides. You're welcome. And for being my co-hostess with the most. my pleasure. Thank you. And I want to thank everybody for coming on to this episode of Retro Roadmap. Um, we'll see you down the road.